May adlaw na tong tanan. Do you have trouble swallowing food or liquids? Or do you feel something is stuck in your throat? Or do you cough or choke when you are eating or drinking? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you might have dysphagia and this video is for you. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist and my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. Dysphagia is the difficulty of swallowing food or liquids which will arise from your throat or your esophagus and it could range from mild difficulty swallowing to a complete and painful blockage. Dysphagia has serious consequences to your health and your quality of life. It will lead to malnutrition, dehydration, um, aspiration pneumonia, and even social isolation. But don't worry, there is hope. You can improve your swallowing function and reduce the risk of complications by doing some simple and easy exercises that you can do at home. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to perform these exercises safely and effectively. And these exercises are based on scientific evidence and proven results. They are suitable for people with mild to moderate dysphagia, which is caused by various conditions such as stroke, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, neck or head injury, and even just normal aging. By the way, if you enjoy videos like this, please consider clicking on the subscribe button, giving it a thumbs up, and sharing it to your family and friends who have problems with dysphagia or even just mild difficulty swallowing. So what are you waiting for? Grab you a glass of water and join me in this video. All right, the first exercise is going to be effortful swallowing. So you're going to use all the muscles in your mouth and throat effortfully, okay? So like that. So gather a little bit of spit in your mouth and swallow with a lot of effort, okay? Let's do that two more times. Gather a little bit of spit in your mouth and swallow, all right? One more time. And that is effortful swallowing. Now, in order to bring that to the next level, get you a cup of water, preferably a little bit warm. And effortful swallow. One more time. So that is effortful swallowing. The next exercise is the Masako Maneuver. So you're going to stick your tongue out between your teeth like this and then try to swallow. Trying to swallow while keeping that tongue in between your teeth, okay? So let's try to do that three times, okay? Stick your tongue out and keep it between your teeth, then swallow. Okay, two more times. Okay, one more time. Try to do this about 10 times, all right? So that is your Masako Maneuver. All right, the next exercise is what they call the Mendelssohn Maneuver. So in this process, you're going to swallow normally and you're going to hold your throat or your Adam's apple to point up or bring it up, okay? So let me try to demonstrate it to you, okay? So just like this. And relax. So hold it as long as you can. So let's start with about three seconds, okay? Let's start, swallow. And relax. Let's do that two more times, okay? All right, and last time, all right? This angle this time. Do not look at my nose. Look at my throat and my Adam's apple, okay? Okay, go. <coughs> and that is your Mandelson maneuver. All right, the next one is the supraglottic swallow. So in this process, you're going to hold your breath before and during the swallow, and then right after, you're going to cough. So let me try to demonstrate it first, okay? So hold your breath. <coughs> like that, all right? So hold your breath before, during your swallowing, and then cough right after. Let's try to practice that 
three times, all right? <coughs> Two more times. <coughs> Remember to hold your breath before and during swallowing. One more time. <coughs> now, before... Before you do this exercise, make sure that uh, you are evaluated by a speech therapist or your occupational therapist, okay? Now let's go on with water. So hold your breath. <coughs> so this will improve your ability to expel food or liquid just in case you are choking. One more time with liquid. Hold your breath. And that is your supraglottic swallow. And the last exercise is the shaker exercise. So you need to be on your bed or on your couch because you need to lie down flat, okay? If you don't fit on your couch, just adjust accordingly. So just make sure your head is flat and you're going to lift your head like you're tucking your chin towards your chest. Like this, trying to look at your toes, okay? Hold it for 30 seconds. Hold that position for 30 seconds. So like this. 30 seconds like that. Then after that, you're going to relax and you're going to do the same position 10 times without hold. All right? So let's try to do 30 seconds and then let's do 10 repetitions without holding. All right? Let's go. If 30 seconds is too long for you, start with 10 seconds and then build up up to 30 seconds. And do not forget to keep breathing while holding that position so that you don't get dizzy. All right, now relax for a few seconds and let's do the same movement 10 times, all right? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is your shaker exercise. Congratulations, you have completed the exercises for dysphagia. And I hope that you find this video helpful and enjoyable. Remember to practice this regularly and consistently in order to get the best results. You can also play this video as often as you want. And if you have any comments or suggestions, you can also play this video as often as you want. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, just type it down below and I would love to hear from you and support you with your journey in improving your ability to swallow food and liquids. Also, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button, giving it a thumbs up and sharing it to your family and friends who might have problems swallowing foods and liquids. And it will also encourage me to make more videos that are helpful for patients or people who have trouble with their health and other neurological diseases or any health topics. And just a reminder, consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time, paalam!